for you to better yourself as a player? Um, more so just worry about me as a person. And, um, you know, I can't play right now. I can't do anything. So I'm just, just trying to make sure. Uh, I'm in the. Let me finish this question first. Um, yeah, just make sure I'm in a positive space. Um, you know, just making sure I'm doing the best job I can to help somebody else, you know, as far as, far as my teammates and stuff. So it's definitely been the toughest year I've ever had playing basketball. But um, just try to look forward and, and stay positive with it all and, um, you know, help my guys out. So it should be a fun summer. Russ had talked about time away helping him when he came back. Do you anticipate that? Are you seeing things maybe a little bit differently away from the floor and um, maybe from an overview standpoint? Uh, I just, yeah, um, I'm a cerebral player and I look at things and I see things differently. Uh, I'm definitely pissed. Uh, I feel I heard a lot of stuff over this time I've been injured from um, from everybody, from different people, and I'm uh, definitely pissed. So can't wait to the first game. You put in perspective what you saw from Russell Westbrook this season. Uh, it was amazing, man. It was amazing. It was so fun to watch and. Um, you know, I couldn't really enjoy it as much because I was, when I watch TV, I hear all this. You know, you compare comparing two teammates together all the time, so it's kind of it's kind of tough to watch it sometimes. And you know, and then you then I hear everything about you know if Russ playing well, um, you know I'm getting traded and all this other stupid stuff. And so I'm like, man, let me just enjoy my teammate, you know, having success. So uh, I just tried to shut all that stupid stuff off and enjoy this. Uh, this killing spree he went on uh, these last few months. It was just amazing to see the growth as a leader and a player. And, um, you know, his just intensity and his effort every single night was what kept us kept us going. And um, I'm excited that I get to play with a guy like that again. And, um, you know, but I know it hurts him more than anything not to be in the playoffs. It hurts me as well. So, but, um, you know, it, it was fun watching him, man. I, w I wish I could have took a lot of pressure off of him sometimes. Uh, but you know, just just seeing them grow was uh, was pretty cool, and just seeing them get the respect that he deserves was more uh, was was more important than anything for me. So it, it was it was fun to watch. What are you hearing about your recovery when you can maybe get back on the court and, and you know, contact drills that kind of thing? Um, soon, soon. Hopefully, you know, th throughout the summer. There are a lot of new faces this year, but you seem to grow close with a lot of the guys. Just. Who in your mind has really stepped up and impressed you this season and among some of the newcomers? Uh, you know, everybody. Everybody. It's definitely been a tough year as far as, you know, injuries and, you know, a lot of stuff was topping for us this year and everybody kept their heads up. Nobody ever quit. Nobody ever complained about anything. And I so I'm so proud of everybody. Never been more proud as a player of the Thunder um, than I am today, you know, because we fought, we could have easily packed it in, but nobody did. And, um, you know, to, to see the group of guys so resilient, not, you know, I make it to the playoffs, it hurts. And um, last night I was frustrated watching both games, the Spurs game and then our, in our game, because I know how much, you know, um, we wanted to be there. So, you know, but I'm proud of everybody. Everybody stepped up and did their part. You get to play a game with Ennis or any of the new guys that were fun. Are you excited about what they built around you, even though you haven't played with them? Um, yeah, I'm excited. I mean, they, I want, they just they assembled a team that's going to work well together. I'm excited about playing with Ennis, hopefully, uh, next year, DJ, Kyle. And I know I can help. I know my leadership. I know my, um, my experience can help. Um, you know, I just I just know I can I can help those guys, and I know they can help me as well. So I was so excited when we got them, but you know it was kind of bittersweet because a few days later I you know I couldn't play. So um, you know I can't wait to to start working with them on the courts. You know whenever I can, and uh, I just know my presence is going is going to help um, a lot of guys in this locker room. And, uh, I'm excited about that, and like I said, I know they're going to push me to be the best player and leader I can be as well. But is it possible that this is a blessing in disguise, especially for players like Ibaka and yeah. people that are recovering or preventing more injuries? Yeah. This uh, yeah, I always try to look at the positive things um, in situations. And, 
I always said, you know, every day I always tell myself we're going to look back on this and smile and laugh at it and, and, and notice and recognize that this was just an obstacle that we had to climb over to get to where we want to get to. Um, but, you know, we all know the importance, um, you know, of, of having each other and it's just you know, leaning on each other all the time because that's what we had to do all year. Um, emotionally, it was leaning on each other. So it was definitely a, a blessing in disguise. It's, it's, it's tough not to play. Um, Serge and myself, we talk about it all the time, not being out there helping the team. Uh, but like I said, I, I really feel like it will, will, will you look back on this and just laugh, and then we'll see it as a small blip on the radar. Kevin, NBA history is flowing. Big guys, very talented, good injuries, really wrecked, wrecked them up. How do you, how do you com confidence-wise and mentally, how do you put that aside and feel like everything's going to be great going on forward? Uh, well, first of all, um, the big guys you're referring to are Yao Ming and Bill Walton. Am I right? That's a couple of them. Who else? Uh, got the other. Okay. Well, um, Bill Walton and um, Yao Ming had two totally different had a different injury than I had. Totally different injury than I had. And um, I can remember a lot of people saying I was too small, too skinny. Uh, but now, all of a sudden, I'm a big man. Uh, I, <laughs> I don't. I don't really. I don't. I don't know what you mean by that, but two totally different injuries um, than I had from those guys, and I know for sure that I'll be back. I know I put the work in. Um, I know that I'm never going to just quit on anything, so I'm going to keep working until I get back right. But, yes, uh, I wouldn't compare me to those guys. What is your status in terms of – you've talked about it some before, but just in terms of wanting to stay here in Oklahoma City – uh, I know that's made the rounds. Uh, your thoughts on that? My, my concern is just getting back healthy. You know, that's all I'm worried about. Um, I know that stuff's going to start to come roll around here soon, but I'm just worried about getting healthy and playing again, you know, doing something I love to do. You know, I'm going to work my tail off <clears throat> to get back right. And, um, you know, so that's all I'm, con I'm focused on. And um, that's all everybody around me is focused on, from my friends, my family, my teammates, it's me getting back uh, healthy. So that's 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 the most important thing. When you say work hard, what, is, is it a matter of stuff you have to do or it seems like just resting and not working would be part of the, part of the process? Uh, no, that's far from the truth. Uh, I've been working the last two weeks, you know, I've been in the weight room every day, rehabbing, you know, um, you know, making sure the rest of my body is strong enough because you know, when you just sit out, you know, things get weaker. So I just try to do what I can. I mean, I, I'm not out there um, balling, play, you know, playing. And you know, when I look back on it, man, I I don't play. I don't play outside. I was playing outside every day in the summer for five, six years. And I look back on it, and uh, I'm like, damn, maybe that's the reason why I got hurt. And would I change it? Uh, hell no. Um, but you know, I don't regret nothing. I don't regret anything I've done this season. Definitely tough, but it's. Fun year of playing the NBA, um, you know, and I've, I've learned how to work hard by, you know, being around this organization. So it's another another step for me, just a different step, and I got to get ready for it. I think the extended rest, you guys haven't had this kind of time off in a while. Well, not only help with you while you're recovering, but guys like Ross are probably mentally spent, you know, just. I mean, I don't, those guys, you know, Russell doesn't care about rest. You know, you had to be playing. You know, I'd rather be playing. You know, we, we'll rest when we, we retire. I guess that's how we look at it. But I'm sure I'm sure it'll help. But I'm sure those guys will get right back in the gym as soon as possible, and um, get back to working and get back you know, ready for next year. So, you know, everybody talks about rest, but when you've been playing this game for so long and you you love to play, it's kind of hard to just sit, you know sit out and rest. There's been a lot of speculation about Scott Brooks too. Uh, your thoughts on what he is able to do this season? Uh, he rallied us, man. He 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 made sure everybody was emotionally stable, and you know, because we a lot of guys in and out the lineup, and he kept everybody together. So you know, that's what your head coach is supposed to do, and you know, and you know, we can't really can't really say nothing about it, you know, because he 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 did his job. You know, he was he kept us together. That's what the main thing was when it's, you know. When one of your leaders is out, you know, Nick was out for nine, ten games late in the year in critical time. 
Dre was out, Surge, you know, so it's kind of tough. But you know, he did his best job he can he can do, and uh, you know, I'm proud of him. Can you watch the playoffs? Yeah, you haven't been done this early in a long time. Hell no, I won't watch the playoffs. You will watch. I won't. You won't. Uh, do you look at that next season as the biggest year in the Saints history? Nah. Whether you do or don't, how do you approach it going, going into your free agency year? You guys still haven't gotten over the hump, things like that. Yeah, it's pressure is just, you know, regular year. You can't put too much pressure on it, you know. That's why, that's how I look at it. If I go in saying, wow, this is the biggest year we ever have, obviously we always want to win the championship. But, you know, you can't, from day one, you can't put too much pressure on yourself. You just got to go out there and play. It's everything going to take care of itself. And, um, so we'll see what happens. You know, we're all excited. We work hard. Everybody here works hard. We have a great organization. And, uh, you know, we'll be ready for next season. So, you know, we can't come in and put too much you know, thought into what will happen throughout the season. You know, we just got to take it day by day. The organization seems extremely confident that you're not going anywhere. Yeah. Giving them any indication of like, reason to believe that, have that confidence? Uh, well, I'm, I'm around. I'm, I'm part of the team. I mean, I, I've. So, you know, I love being here. So, you know, like I said, we're going to take it a day at a time and just focus on me getting healthy again. I'll be here all summer uh, working with the guys and working with the trainers, you know. So, you know, that's that's my main concern. I think that's what Sam's main concern is, Troy Weavers. And from all the way on down to the bottom is he making sure everybody's healthy and uh, making sure I'm healthy and back ready playing next season. You wanted to get back and be healthy and you're excited about next season, but in some ways, do you dread all the speculation? Because it's going to be constant, isn't it? What's right? About your future. Um, it's, Not yeah. I was a part of it. Um, it's a part of it. I just let everybody know, you know, how I'm coming into the year. Just focus on playing. I know the question is going to come, um, but I'm just focused on playing and giving my all for my team. Going out there and laying on the line like I always do. Um, I I I like um, I like reading that stuff, you know, because I get upset and I play well when I get really really upset. Uh, but it's also flip side. I, when I'm when I got a chip on my shoulder or when I'm like mad at somebody for what they said, I, I I'm not myself and I don't. I don't play well, so it's kind of like a balance that I use. You know, I use it for fuel sometimes because I know most of it's bullshit, and I know most people don't really know um, the game like I know it and how I view myself and other players. So, but sometimes, like I said, it's a balance I have to I have to have in between, like getting too mad and just letting that distract, you know, take me away from how I play, and but using that as fire as well. So, you know, I've, I've heard it all, and um, I can't wait to can't wait to play again. USA, is that dependent on your health and how you recover? Um, that's next year, I think. So, um, I'm looking forward to being healthy, healthy by next year. But I said the same thing last year. So, we'll see. We'll see, man. I'm just, like I said, taking a day at a time. Just trying to get healthy, man, and get this foot right and um, go back out there and be the player. You know, I've always been. Kevin, even with the injuries from the time of that second trade on, you guys are the highest scoring team in the NBA. As you look at reintegrating yourself, Serge coming back, mm -hmm. in your mind, are you thinking we could be something really special? Yeah, definitely. Um, definitely. We score points. Uh, but I think, uh, you know, with the, the team we have, when we're fully healthy defensively, we can be, we can wreak havoc. I, I look at myself as an elite defender. Um, I may not get that reputation, but I think uh, with Serge and myself out there, uh, we do a good job of just, uh, you know, perimeter, playing perimeter defense, switching a lot of stuff. Uh, and then on the offensive end, just playing together, scoring, our shooting ability to stretch the floor, you know, uh, along with the Russ's just uh, reckless abandon, getting to the rim and putting pressure on the defense. Mix that in with how we play on both ends of the court. Um, you know, I think we have a really good team. So uh, I'm looking forward to next year. I'm just trying to add things to my game when I get back on the court and just try to be the best leader and player I can be and um, live with the results. You mentioned your status as a defender. The way this team struggled defensively, especially the second half of the season, do you think people now have a more of an appreciation for your defense? Um, like I said, that's a reputation thing. Um, 
I'm labeled as a scorer, but I grew my game since I've been in the league, and I feel like I'm a good defender. I feel like, you know, uh, some of the games some of the guys had uh, on us this year, you know, uh, wouldn't have happened. You know, it's just me being confident on that end. It wouldn't have happened with me being out there, especially at my position. And uh, I feel I feel like coaches can rely on me and trust on me on that end to guard one through five, you know, so. You know, that's how I view myself, and that's the confidence I have in myself as a defender. And my teammates have the same confidence that if they put me on somebody, I, I do a good job. You know, it's great players in this league, don't get me wrong, and they don't have their nights, but um, I feel like that um, I can be trusted, and <clears throat> my coaches rely on me on that end to be a, be a lockdown defender. People don't see just to your scheme how valuable it is to have guys like you and Serge who are so versatile. Yeah. Um, it is always good to have defenders that can guard, you know, multiple positions. And I think I feel me and Serge, Russ, Dre can do that. And on that, and you know, having Russ, um, Dre, and myself on perimeter do that helps a lot. And um, takes pressure off our bigs. And having somebody that can rim protect takes pressure off us as well at, on the perimeter. So I, f- I feel like I'm in that class as one of the, one of the good defenders at my position. And um, you know. I just try to take pride in it. I've definitely grown. I'm not saying I came in as just a lockdown defender, but I've, I took my lumps and I've grown from there. I've grown my home, my whole game from much more than just a score uh, that everybody paid me at. So, you know, it is good. Kind of line with teams that needed to go through a lot of stuff before they won the title. You guys experienced obviously so much success early. Does it help you to know that, you know, in the league's history, you knew it does take things to that Um. Yeah, you can say that, but we just – we always wanted to write our own story, I guess, and um, it just ended up this way. We, we're we not going to, you know, bank on that, that, you know, a lot of teams have been through things. We really still got to do the work, and um, I'm confident that we'll go out there and do the work this summer, training camp, you know, throughout the season. And hopefully we get there. That's our main goal, and um, I have confidence that we have a good enough team to get there.